Sniper. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm fine with that one. That's a lot of fun. Double assassinate. Double assassinate. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it works really well. You gotta well with watch bloodlust. out. People gonna die. So their frontline ogre, right? Ogre is their big frontline beef to protect. Void as well yeah. to jump in his own away from sniper. He's squishy though remaining. versus tiny. He is. And that's but tiny's got to get to right. Seconds. So well, we think it's a... gonna be a core tiny. So he's gonna have a good blink. If they just put Zion to Kiro, and then the apps are still just. Why well, is there? Is there any cheese that's secret from? They need something that gets on top of this sniper. Spectre. Spectre. Yeah. So quick yeah, one. That's the one. To but it's Yapsor I'll Invoker. It's Yapsor Invoker. It is. Okay, so who's playing what? And the rest of them? Do you so have Zai Tiny. Mid one Tiny, and then Zai Jakiro. Dude, oh my god. No, I think mid one's played Jakira in the past. We've had mid one has definitely had a game. I remember one of them. He's doing oh it again here. God, he's doing he's it again here. I told it. you, bro. Mid one Jakira. We've. Se I can't remember when it was. It was. I feel it was like back at one of the miners. We saw mid one play Jakira. So did he win that? Did he win that game? I want to say he did because I remember it. So I feel like I wouldn't remember it if it was garbage. I think I remember it because he won. I remember him playing there. But I like this is this is exactly what I want to wake up to, and I think everyone in Twitch chat and watching on whatever watching sites you are, you're going to agree this is exactly what you want Five in the morning. TNC yeah. with the right banger of the draft, Void Sniper, all the combos, and then Secret with some smart stuff, some new stuff, some little bit of revisited stuff. So we've had mid one Jakira in the past, they're bringing it back, and. Uh, well, see who's going to take it. Wow. Okay. That's. I think it's going to. I think it's going to be a close one. I this is an interesting one. one. I like. TNC's I, got a really nice draft. That, but like, personally, secret, I, I, I prefer, like TNC. Right? I prefer the TNC draft, a but little it's bit, secret. But it's secret. It exactly. is secret, and they're going to have that edge as they're, you know, they're they're pretty flawless in the performances so far in the group stage. But TNC's lineup. It's, it's very strong. It's definite. It, it's it's got it's got some good ideas behind I'm it. I'm a little worried for Armel is the one thing, right? If Tiny gets off to a good game and mm -hmm. then they can just freely jump into the back lines and kill Armel over and over again, their damage could be could have some issues. They have to land the Grimstoke and the Lich combo pretty much perfectly. So Grimstoke is being played as a four. And I think we've mostly seen it been played as a five, except for Jarex yesterday, where we saw him playing like three position and Grimstroke and he went for the Agonimus build early. But yeah, we haven't seen the Grimstroke Lich combo too much because people started falling out of favor of making Grimstroke four position right. All right, let's get it going. And I'll be interested to see what sort of build we have, uh, Nishi. Because there is always that threat of Grimstone getting the axe right. Getting a dark portrait of a spectre is always going to be very nice. One of the one of the better heroes to do it off. Much later down the lines, though, right? Sure. Like Jarrett well, was giving full farm priority in that game. That might happen this game. He had a tree in protect. Tim's I mean, I guess say, he has get a, out my lane. He has I'm an ogre. Bombing. Maybe he kicks Cuckoo out of lane, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, Cuckoo gets some Midas. Yeah, he doesn't need to hit creeps. He's just going to multicast Midas. But well, we'll see. Can but, they protect their safe lane is the one thing I'm looking at for secret, right? There's an ogre. Every time we've seen this ogre, the ogre plus one beats the crap out of the safe lane to to a very strong portion. And it was secret when Nisha was playing that Arc Warden versus the ogre where he lost. He died, what, six times? They ended up winning the game, but the laning phase was rough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, TNC versus Secret to start your day or end your day or wake you up in the middle of the night, wherever you're watching around the world. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope this one entertains you. Picks, it certainly should. Should be a lot of fun. Two teams. It's going to be so much battling up top. I can't wait. To Great. So like we said, the big thing to watch out for is really like the tornadoes in particular in the early game versus the ink swell as well as, as well as that frost shield. Just being able to dispel both of them when they make aggressive plays. Kind of to watch Yapsor's positioning a lot if whenever he makes moves to defend in particular the tri lane as looks like they're actually making Nisha go to the off lane as they're expecting this aggressive move. Which I think you have to. Yeah, you don't want to be in the lane where you're getting covered in ignites. I mean they also have a ward down. You have to assume the ogre. So they're doing the tri lane with this with tiny. So lots of different instances to work well with Colts. The battle begins. No, they toss back. There we have it. Cuckoo, he's a tanky man. Tanky enough with this level one ogre. We're gonna see his Yapsum puppy do try and beat him down. But indeed, is uh, as an ogre a bit too beefy for secret to quite. No, the toss back. Oh, Zai, so close to getting it. That one could potentially yeah, if, be if a If you get AU back, one. they they would have certainly had it. They would yeah. have had to slow up on the CM and Colson would have been back up in five seconds. Are you able to keep himself out of harm's way as he gets out of there? Puppy quickly going down towards the bottom. Yep. Form the dual lane, help out Nisha. 
farming up, up against Gabby. We'll see how long TNC keep that trailer together or if indeed one of those supports will head down to help Gabby out. They're going to be going for tossback plays constantly on uh, Secret up top. This is just, uh, we don't want to be pressured super hard. We're going to try to just eat your pressure by pressuring you guys as well by going for these because you have to be very careful. Like, Tim's gets tossed back. He's probably just dead. Cuckoo, he can still survive unless they get some, like, really godly body blocks. As the tri lane is broken, they send Lich bottom to make sure Gabby can get to farm and also pressure Nisha. To Gabby, more than safe against these two. Any sort of threat on Gabby. He's gonna have the time walk and a cross shield buff to keep him safe. Just Dave himself has to have to be a little careful. I wonder how this mid man. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen this but If Sniper right. can sort of play the range game, it should be okay. But at the same time, if those dual breaths come into play, mid one can can mess with the CS and, you? and make it a lot harder for, for Sniper to get those early last hits. His eye has to be pretty... It's, it's still such a strong dual lane from TNC. The damage coming in very high for this zero. Very low armor, Tiny. The Absor does have still use picked up. Exit. So much Yapsaw can do on the early levels to, to keep him safe. Yeah, but the important thing, right, is that the Spectre is not up there eating them. He's bottom free farming. He's 10 and 1 last hits already. So that's the, the main goal that Secret wanted to accomplish with just this little lane, uh, lane. The rune will be an invis down bottom. I was able to, to make something happen with that. The CM. Invisibility. Does get spotted out by. TNC's warding, so Armour oh, will start to play a lot safer in the middle lane. Top lane a bit to go on to Tim's. Cold snap. Attempt to chase him down. Kuka's able to slow him down. Last. Good nuke there. Brings the Absol down very low. Zai Kuka won't quite be able to find him. Kuka trying to turn for the bigger kill on Zai, but Zai with the toss back will be able to separate and see from himself. So Zai is able to get back and cover of the trees. Mid lane Puppy still hanging around. That Armel did have vision of him picking up the rune. This movement from Puppy though is leaving Nisha, Nisha very vulnerable. Oh. Uh, two points in dispersion will keep him safe though. Did he stout block as well? I think might have. Back up top. Another attempt onto Cuckoo with the cold snap. Zai punching into him. Cuckoo turns with the blast again onto Zai. Any sort of combo from coming out. So that move from Puppy, it hurt Nisha a little bit down bottom, right? It, especially if he had died, it would have been super oh, that painful. Would've, that would've been massive. But he actually helped mid one a lot. Mid one was losing pretty hard in the last oh. hits, and he's caught up entirely now. A little bit of a trade here. AU trying to go for Nisha, but it's a bit of a bait, because now Puppy's turned up. He'll be able to turn and Let's hit back at the Lich. He's going to have another nuke in a second here on Puppy. If you go for it. One he nuke won't be quite enough, no. Far enough behind the tower. Yeah, and he has a salve as well, too, on AU, so he's a salve of clarity. Maximum, you can see. Yeah, that heal. Nice. So, CS yes, in that bottom lane, as you can see, 16 for 4 on Gabby, 15 for 1 on Nisha. Very close between the two carries. The mid lane matchup, Armel, 12 for 7. The mid one, 11 for 5. Again, very close. Pretty much even farm between the two of them. Because of Puppy's rotation. Yeah, mid one was like, he was quite a bit, but he was like 5 and 3 or something to the uh, 8 and 5 of the sniper. So that move from Puppy, like I said, yeah, helped mid one quite a bit. See the career is the regen. Yeah, Nisha has all his regen, but mid one actually calls for it first. He's like, oh. I was like, it's already at Nisha. <laughs> He's got his tangos standing down bottom as Kuku up top. Getting gone on the toss back far. Not quite under tower range though. You know? Say Kuku still low. A very beefy one at that. Regen as well. Can that, that boost HP it can withstand this abuse that Secret is sending his way. Let's see what the what the bills are going to be from the two carries this game. Nisha, Gabby are going to go. Oops. It does look it's going to be like the soul ring for Nisha to get that yeah. farm going. Puppy, oh. he's going to be able to get that one. And that that's is. the first blood. That is Puppy's able to get to find out you out of position. And it's a bounty rune spawning right now. Gabby, he has to be. He wants he has to, to try and go forward. Let's see if he can take any of these, Gabby. He's not going to be able to grab that one. Nisha, a little bit quicker with the fingers, we'll be able to pick it up. We'll still be a two for two. But they get the first blood, Puppy, Bounty. the solo kill. They bring a lot of regen down to the bottom lane with that. Talking about on Puppy as well. As top, I mean, Zai's still farming really well versus that pressure lane. He's a great time. 30 last hits in comparison to the 19 of the Ogre. So, yeah, this, this dual lane that they put up top has 
done a great job to absorb that pressure. Quick of a start for Kuku. Still doing great. 17 9, 21. Still sniper favored, but not too bad for Shakiro. I'm sure Paul. Red Eye probably losing it right now as he does not like the core Jakiro. And, and this is why. He died. Dove here, mid one. He will Hanky. turn. Assassinates out. The very oh. fire. One more right clicking. The in. very fire. to find it. Mid one's in the trees and he lives. Oh my god, and that side rotates into Armel. The turn around. They found AU. They'll find Armel as well. It's very fire. He lived with what? 9 HP, 8 HP, maybe less? Very fire and then instantly pops the salve as he turns the corner before the frost shield tick sets him. And it doesn't actually connect on him at all because of it. What a, wow. What a play there from mid one. What a rotation. Four the heroes teammates, collapse. Yeah. Coming in. Making sure that not only mid one stays one safe and point. has the time to duke it out, but also the possibility to turn around and get those kills. Have a look, have a look at this again. Look at this, the fairy have fire. Have a look at his HP. Watch this fairy fire. 250, Down. 240, oh. 170, boom! Oh. Six HP. Oh, that was close. And the frost shield wears off as he turns himself on. I so. felt that. Beautiful play there. Assassinate, assassin, no. Oh, and not mid, today. One, mid one gets the best spawn possible for himself here as Jakiro. He gets the Prowlers. So he can use Macro Pyro and Prowlers. And easy Ancients. Out. Yep, easy Ancient farm for Jakiro at the six minute mark. Day, day, what's he, what's he going to go for? He's got, he's, does he just buy Arcanes for himself as a mid Jakiro? I'm wondering if he wants to tank up, if he wants to go for something like okay. that Veil or something. Oh, yeah, Brown Boots Veil. For, for it's a like, Jakiro. does he want Veil? Does he want Atos? Yeah. Does he want Mobility? I'm, it's, I'm not too sure which one he's going to prioritize. Gabby. He's got time warp back up. Himself, final. The Atos is probably unlikely, but I mean, the Yules is also really good because you're playing versus uh, Void, so it's in good yeah. for catching, but also good for time dilation. He's just got a lot of catch for the rest of his teammates. Yeah, that's the one thing. Go and focus on our other things. Cuckoo, look at his mana taken out by the MP. He's got the stick charges. We'll be able to get one more stun out onto Zai. Another nuke. They'll try and chase him down, but mid one's coming with the rotation. Dual breath down onto Cuckoo as the three will surround the Ogre. Toss up from Zai, and Cuckoo will fall. Secret. I say mid one in the neighborhood to make sure that that trade favors them. Yeah, Vale sounds pretty solid. Yeah, we'll see. Mid one hasn't queued any. But yeah, nice rotation, mid one. Just walked over from while he was farming. Maybe he's saying, maybe saying he wants some Midas. Well, I mean, maybe. That's also definitely I'm a possibility. That gold. Definitely a possibility. Yep. So he's been given the top lane now, as we oh, see, you know, Zai. Zai rotated out. And Couple stacks here from mid one. Can that efficiency behind the jungle? and Hang down the macro pile. Look at that easy farm, this man. He's going the Atos. He's played a fair few Jakira games. Okay, so he's going the. I think the Atos is because he's versus a Void. It just gives you that extra catch. Sure. That's going to be and really nice. It is a nuisance for Gap. I was wondering, I, I think it had to have been one of those the three big items there. Unless he went for a minus, which would have. But yeah, so he's TP mid, Zai, with the bottle, heals up mid one a bit, and they're immediately smoking. So they're looking to make some plays Zaya's middle tower is under toward the top, but maybe toward mid as well, as Armel he shows his face. I think if they, if they can just toss mid one on top of him, mid one combo. Oop, smoke broke. Yeah, I didn't see him. I'm out straight into the trees, yeah, did just sort of glimpse of him by the tower. So I won't be able to sneak up on Armel for now. Armel keeping him in position safe. Gabby the big winner out of all of this though still. Gabby top net worth, 3,500. Yeah. Free farm down bottom. Yeah. Nisha not dying, but not getting that equivalent free farm because he was being, being pressured quite a bit, especially because Poppy moved out of the lane a couple times. Let's top the chrono. Oh, there's the surprise move. Gabby's up top. The multi. Oh, oh. Perishes with me. Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. He wanted that. He made a long trek for that from bottom to top. No pressure tower though with Dyer's the bloodlust. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's Can we build wise treads into Maelstrom? It's gonna be very nice. Bloodlust being scaled up. Yeah. Having that bloodlust with the Maelstrom. Void early on Dyer's is, is gonna are allow him to do a lot of damage in those mesphers. Allow him to farm a lot faster than the regular Maelstrom. To farm a little bit faster than the Spectre is. Oh, one. It's found a bit of an opportunity for a solo kill here. Yes. And he burns. Oh. Burning down the frosting. Bounty. See how the bounties are split. Radiant's bottom tower One at the moment. Attack. Straight two for two. Top lane. Gabby going to the wall. Oh, everybody's coming. Get out of there, Gabby. 
They're all TPing in. He's got another time warp. We'll be able to jump across the trees, but they get the toss on a puppy. Jump in there. Ice Duke, Cuckoo can turn from the Molly Car start. Gabby comes back in. They try to kill our puppy. Puppy Good goes job. for the ult. We'll be silenced by TNC, TNC though. Dyer's Still with the successful escape. They'll get everyone out. They just baited out a three TP rotation from Seacraft. I'm going to say that TNC's pretty happy with that one. Uh, definitely. That was. Instant rainbow TPs coming up from Secret. They were expecting that dive to come forward for sure. I mean, that was so quick. I mean, is it, as a team, is that the more saying, right, we all need to go? Is that everyone just going and then, oh, we, we maybe didn't need to all go? <laughs> maybe they thought they needed everybody in order to yeah. go back. Because it was three heroes. I mean, and it, was there, but, yeah, it was Gabby. It was Gabby. It was the It was the car. Yeah. They have a shrine available, though. We saw the TNC. They back up, use that one. Everyone's fully restored. Fresh well, hey, yeah. Successful bait there from TNC. Yep. And Gabby's going to soon be able to make a play again. He's nearly got the chrono on bottom. Bottom. Nisha. And going on to AU and Cuckoo. Down. Gets denied. Cuckoo will be able to take that tier one away from Secret. Oh, AU. He's 10 HP. Nisha. It, gotta commit. Uh, Cuckoo's still alive. Frost shield. Nisha. Got He's got him. He's in one more touch. We'll find it. They're still trying to see if they can find Cuckoo as well. Also bringing in Yapsaw. Cuckoo's got to stay on the run. He's got to keep running. He will manage to make it away. He absolutely not quite able to close the gap, even with those wet spools out. Yeah, he makes it. I swear I saw it. Nisha had a ring of regen at some point in the laning phase bottom. Now he, he, didn't have it. he had the ring of regen queued for purchase. He had it, is it? Did he actually buy uh, maybe he bought it and then sold it. You know, he I guess he must have. Temporarily yeah, 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 yeah. side shot for a quick heal. Okay. Yep. 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 Die forward, die. Right, the soul fight now. Armel will fall, but it's a great crowd for Ka Gabby. And they've got the damage to get the kills. They'll definitely get the one. Chain Frost is out, bouncing on to the second. And they'll get Yapsil. They'll get Zai as well. Now Gabby jumping in. See if he can get on top of Puppy. Puppy will be able to get out of the way. So two for one trade. Secret diving a little bit and TNC capitalizing on it. Both teams are matching each other's speed and pace at it's the close. moment here, just constantly making the moves. Anytime someone is looking to pressure one of the towers, everybody's keeping it to defend it. It is close, pretty even net worth. The only difference really being in, in terms of how it's split up is that Yapsaw is, is sort of taking a bit more, but, the, but that's sort of balanced out across the board with the fact that Gabby is just that far ahead. He's about one get ahead, in fact, up top. Quick play, silence. He's taking swell. He is, and he's too tanky for them to kill. Zai will be fine with that brace. Yeah, Teen armor as well. So you can't ever, uh, can't ever forget about Zai Grow, how strong it actually does make money when you're plays. But now they're bringing another rotation up. Armel, he has Treads and the Midas and Bloodlust, so he does pack a decent... Well, he doesn't have those yet. Just see what Gabby's going for. Going for the tankier option with the talent. We'll uh, play with the 12 strength tower. over the 15 damage. I think Definitely did. That was the more sensible one, especially when you play against these high magical first heroes. Yeah. Top lane side. This time he will fall. They're able to peep him down with the extra damage of Armel sitting on the back lines. Mid lane, the instant team is coming up. They really wanted to defend this mid tower. Tims is in, but the root is out. They're focused towards him. Silence is out on the puppy. Gabby focusing onto him with the help of Cuckoo. Lands the morning car stun. Puppy is trying to run. Gabby, if he gets one more bash, there it is. It'll do the job. Puppy's dead. TNC. Able to get in, keep their tower alive. Is it low enough to deny? It is. That's going to be deny. Two tier one towers being denied by TNC. A lot of money taken away from Secret potentially. Yeah. Dyer's top tower. Very nice setup. Attack. You see them. They're prioritizing defending tier ones. I think we've been seeing teams doing that more and more so. And like this year, it's been like the defense of the mid tower. A lot of people talking about that. So these just could you Midas on the uh, on the Spectre as well. So we've seen that quite a lot now on these Spectres. Just it's about like your levels as well. We did. It's just the it's going to be a uh, sort of a lot of a, a different Midas game from uh, what you may have seen yesterday from OG. Yes. Uh, where Anna got the Midas. Anna got six minutes. It's a little later than six minutes in this one. To be expected. He was putting the off lane it was a hard because lane. they didn't want to be pressured. So. And you know they're, they're ready to play for the long game. And I think uh, TNC. Is they're, they're sort of happy with that as well. They're, they're running a Void Sniper. They don't mind if this game goes on. Radiant we could definitely see it's like a 60-minute plus game. Yeah. Crazy team fights coming up Dyer's between Voids and Which Voids and Spectres. So. I mean, yeah, obviously a lot of that is going to be on the on the Spectre, obviously, because, you know, TNC, they have the Void Sniper. They're yeah. just, uh, very scared on it to go up there. And there is the, it is a mid one Jakiro too, right? So it's like, that hero can do a lot of potential on this hero. But they do also have a support invoker who we saw, Could especially MSS, yeah. when he was playing with Newbie, when he was playing support invoker yesterday. He hit 25 and he was doing so much work, even with Cataclysm. And you're like, support invoker Cataclysming, like, that's pretty devastating. So, you know, late game, it's pretty hard to Radiant's look at it. I think TNC's yeah. I like, because Void's easier. Void's super easy to play, but Sniper just dies. Oh, so. 
We have to see how uh, how the fights will go down. It's really going to be up to execution. Radiant's bottom so scaling at TNC. They, they've got the, the mathematics are behind TNC. They have an ogre with a Midas. You got the multicast. They got a sniper with a Midas. He's got that cooldown reduction. So as Midas efficiency goes, TNC's is going to be through the roof. Especially because one's a multicast. Dota Plus right now is favoring Team Secret a little bit, but that's you know the Spectre, right? The Spectre factor always is going to be one of those. I love that the Spectre. It does really love it. And they do have, you know, the nine kill advantage. They also it's, take in two I, towers. I feel this is a little secret bias, though. I feel you look <laughs> at this game. I would say it's probably 60-40 the other way. I feel it's, yeah, I feel I, it's pretty you even right now. You underestimate the sniper void and the, the, the way that they... I don't know. We'll see. But it is secret. Secret, uh, as we say, uh, uh, pretty well here in the group stages. Nisha changed immediately as we were talking about the Midas. He's got to be going for the Mantle Rush. And Pimps gets tossed back. Zai with the Blink Dagger Radiant's reveal. And they're going to put some pressure. They have a Catapult down here. And they have mid one with that Max Liquid Fire. This is dead tier two. Tabs of Gabby here right now. They have this deep Radiant's ward. Bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, looks like me prioritizing just jumping in, taking fights. The Manta, also very good item, of course. On spec, they're always going to be super nice with your Desolate. Double Maelstrom, double Minus. Lots of damage going to be coming up from Tienzi. Tienzi, I'm happy just to farm. Secret, they're the ones who are definitely going to be looking to hunt. They've got a haste rune on Tiny, they've got yeah. the blink Tiny. They have Tiny and Jakiro as two of their colors, so they're just like, Nisha, we're going to make all the space in the world because you are you are a super carry. As well. Sure, but, you know, as you said, because he's going for the mantra, not Midas Radiance, mm -hmm. it's, it is more of a build where he's he's expecting to fight and get in there rather than sort of play the, the more passive play on, yeah. on an Inspector. I mean, it's very secret, so. right? They always want to be fighting. Yeah. So far, 10 to 5. You can see that they've not really given up that many kills. It has just really been Tim's getting caught out by the secret movements, whilst the, the two carries farm away very happily. Both Gabby and Armel yep. staying at the top of the network. And Cuckoo, Cuckoo's gonna start climbing up there with that Midas. They're all building. Looks like they're all queuing up those BKBs next time. Yeah, top all three cores have queued up to be on the side of the I mean, that, so they they're looking for a timing window. They know Secret's gonna be hunting for a fight. They yep. won't be prepared. And they know that. BK, I mean, BKB just look, ruins Secret's lineup. Look at Secret's draft, exactly. They have their their physical damage is not going to be online for like I, ages, honestly. Like for another 20, 30 minute Spectre. He does do some, but it's not really what Spectre's jam is. You don't really, you're not all about your physical. Pure that comes up. Still hunting though. Spirit Vessel was finished. A lot of extra damage that come up. Great ways to be able to catch the Void as well. Catch them. Nisha watching from the sidelines. Doesn't want to go down onto off the cliff. Dagger still on cooldown for now. But they get that Gabby kill. And now Zai behind the tower finds the opportunity to blink in. Toss back Cuckoo. Cuckoo's going to go down as well. Armel will be able to snipe Zai in return. But Puppy in with the ult. He's melted. Down at four. Yep, and diving. four are dead. Yapso tries for the blind tornado. Armel makes the read. Heads towards the top tower. But Secret striking hard. Getting three of them, four of them, in fact, out. Radiant's Aeus just respawned. They make that quick play, the play that it, they were certainly gearing up to go for. All because of this Atos build that they were. They'd be able to get that far set up onto the void there. Even though, I think Sai, Sai made a little bit of a hiccup there, right? He didn't actually get the stun combo off while he was caught, so he was able to jump back. And then they also tornadoed during the toss back, so there was a little bit of miss synergy there coming out from Seeker, but... You can see how how strong they really are right now because of how much magic damage they're dishing out. A quick 1680 damage in seconds. Puffy just been able to lay down that hole. Corrupt it. That's uh, starting up to, to jump up to that 2k lead. You really are understanding now why TNC wants to get those they BKBs should. online you, before Because you get fight. the BKBs and, and those are the kills, they just don't happen. You, you, you're not going to lose anyone. Wars by Secret got out right just so much deep vision, being able to watch everything that NC's setting up for. They're set up here behind our mouth. So they do want to fight Hans. Not a guy. He's getting into the toss back. Hans Cuckoo underneath the tower. He's been buffed up by the Frost Shield. They have the Rod of Atos. Magnifier back up and they'll look to burn Cuckoo down. With the Tornado, though, escape for Cuckoo. Cuckoo will fall. Ice Gabby. Bomb. 
Step one also catches out the void. Root will finally end the land capture time. Will come to the high ground. Zai turns. He's got the combo. The avalanche onto the three of them. Gabby's low. Gabby's dying. Gabby's got one more time. Ball. Can he get away? Another three of them down. The try and turn, but he's already dead. The look, Gabby. The soul by Chain Frost. Combo is out. The Chain Frost bouncing about, but he's definitely going to kill off Yap. So everyone else is equal to still alive. And they team wipe TNC. Oh my god. <laughs> the way that they're just diving forward relentlessly to get these heroes of TNC. And he's just, just diving towards the back lines. And they have so many different things to poke from far away from. And it's, and it's yeah, the, the amount of damage and control that Mip One's offering is this yeah, really is It's only. just, it is impossible to play against before they have the BKB. Yep. Yeah, TNC's lineup is very vulnerable at this moment before they have them. And Secret know it. They're pushing the issue. They know they have to keep this up secret before those BKBs are out, and they certainly are. In fact, Puppy diving in towards the tier fours. They killed off. Are you at, did you look at Puppy's items so far? He has phase loot, a chainmail, double brace. Like he's just going in. That's a strong, he's gonna die strong this CM. But they're just diving forward and punishing TNC. They're not able to get their spells off. Gabby has to be more careful with his positioning in these next few fights. I feel like he has to be the backliner completely now in this void. They he gets caught by one disable and he's just dead. So now, I think farm the BKB, farm the BKB before you try to go for any of that. How close are we to the Marmel's just about a recipe away and same to be said for Gabby's void. So the they tornado. should have them for the next fight. This one is so nice. You see the tornado clips Gabby and yeah. mid one with no hesitation jumps forward to make sure they can get that cash. Nisha commits forward and then Zai. He's already hunting for the back lines to go for this so they can continue going for this Zaya's pressure forward. And TNC, Zaya's they're all just caught together. Everyone's clumped up and caught by everything there by secret. Very aggressive here because, you know, can can they find one more fight before the BKBs are out? Of course. You know that you have to think. And you look at all those Midases that TNC built up, and you have to imagine that Secret's probably like, "Hey, they're going for all these Midas." Oh yeah, they're, they're, we Secret, have to. Yeah, that's Secret why they're has playing to play this. this fast. That's exactly the reason why they decided, "Hey, Disha, don't go for Midas yourself. Go for Manta. We're just going to bring the action to them, and then they're going to have a really tough time since they went for this double Midas build." And Nisha, he's going to be going for the Diffusal Blade next with that Manta. So getting on the back. Ninety percent. My. It really likes Secret. 90%? We'll see if that 90% stays there once the BKBs are done on Armel and Gabby. Well, the, the win probability goes based off of a lot of things, right? They have four powers down, five powers killed already, too. And they're winning 20 kills to eight with the Spectre lineup. Cuckoo. Nah. Drop down as well as he steps up too far. But yeah, I mean, they have so much map control coming out from the side of Secret. It makes sense. And with the Spectre going into late game, we've seen dominate that hero. Yeah, they just continue to roam around as four, looking for these constant, constant kills. These teams. Support, support life is going to be hard. Do they have saves for themselves yet? Have they got any glimmers? They have a four staff but no glimmer, so they're both looking pretty dead to haunts quite easily. Abby, he's been found. He's got the BKP, but uh -oh. it's on its way over to him. The supports, the two supports of secrets, so they're going to easily kill him off. Gabby caught out. A little too far outside of the base. A secret continuing to play faster into the Roche pit as well now, secret. They've got the medallion, right? The medallion plus the Manta with the Spectre, so that desolate damage plus that medallion. Yep, they're done at a pretty fast pace. 30 seconds. No void. Throw anything to at least slow them down. It doesn't look like it. The gathering and trying to smoke. They do want to try. It's dying too fast, though. They're going to yeah, they're they're gonna gonna get Fast. Maybe a lucky scrabble steals the kill, but it's not going to be the case. Secret, get Roche, and Aegis is there on Nisha. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. They have to make something happen now. BKBs are out. They've got the both both the BKBs. Yep. They they do have the damage. They they get the Chrono into a Cellbind Chain Frost, Bloodlusted Void. I don't think damage is going to be an issue for TNC at the moment. As it's long it's as just about landing the combo, yeah. getting the BKBs off. They can have a good shot at a team fight against Secret, despite Secret having this 5k lead. And they have to make sure that they get it and they use it immediately. Because if you if you Chrono and your Grimstroke and your Lich don't get their spells up, Inspector is able to haunt, he's just going to kill both of the supports and then you don't really have that much damage inside of the draft. It's just going to be the sniper actually keeping through the back lines. And Secret, they've drafted to be ready for that physical damage. I see Yapsor, he's building toward the Lotus, obviously versus time dilation as well. But look at Puppy. Medallion phase boots. Look how much armor all these heroes. Everyone is starting to really tank up on secret deal with that damage that will be coming up. A poke at puppy. Gabby doesn't want to make the jump for it. So there's 1670 HP. Five position crystal 
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. They all grouped up here. They're really trying to hunt for something here on the bounty rune. Bounty. Baiting it here. Time is money. Zai still sitting on the sidelines here. He's going in. He is. Zai jump forward. Trying to new down AU. Out comes the horn. They're trying to jump in for this. Gabby turns. Looks towards Zai. Starts to punch in. BKB's now going to be mobbed by Gabby. Looks for Zai. Will get the kill on Zai. Now turns Nisha. Trying to commit onto Tins. Buyback comes out from AU. They get the five blast. Morty cast out onto Nisha. Nisha puts the banter. He's getting peeped by Armel. They've taken the H out of him. But Gabby's got to be careful. BKB's worn off on Gabby. Backs up towards the tier two tower. Cold staff causing some issues. But he's saved by the rest of his team with the frost shield. He'll be able to get out of there. They get the Aegis. They get Zai, they only lose AU. And they didn't have to commit Chrono, so they still have it for the upcoming situations. This is how much the BKB turns things. Yep. No longer can Zai sort of go for that, that jump in and start and confidently get the kills without the worry of this commitment from the Void just turning things around. He can pop the BKB, start punching into Zai, next thing you know, Zai's gone. They, did they end up using both of them? No, they actually didn't. Just Armel, Zai's. Armel saved it. That's okay. right, just, just Gabby's, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty important that Armel also saved his BKB. The 10 second BKBs are going to be super crucial in this game. When you're playing versus this massive amount of magic damage that can get to the lead. Cuckoo, 72 percent. But obviously the gold earned is, uh, is fine. Yeah. You know, you, you don't need to worry about the efficiency when you have the multi. You yeah, hit it four times and you can use that Midas whenever you want. Yeah, and he was dead a couple times too, so. So they're actually giving Puppy, yeah, Puppy's actually given, giving priority of farm for a little bit here. He's actually taken, he took like that whole mid wave a couple times now and he gets the GPM talent too. This is going to be a really farmed Crystal Maiden. They're going to have five cores on, on Seeker, or at least four cores, and maybe Zai gets left behind the dust at some point. See, but. that sentry that's, that's just been placed will be uh, revealed there. Radiance for the Ignite oh, oh, yeah, so The tree throw onto the Courier. They're going to know Ooh. there's a ward up there now, yeah, for level. sure. The TSC show there's a sentry. Uh, but Secret will show that there's a, an Ops Ward. Worth it though. I'm sure Zai does not care. I'm sure that he doesn't care about losing a ward there for getting a courier like well that. Well worth the burst of gold for them. Hipon closing in on his head. Staff. See a double farm right there? Right? And Hipon, you know, he knows the angles to, to run in the jungle as a Jakir. Melting down a couple of stacks at a time. And the crazy amount of damage that comes out right too with the uh, spell talent right. and the dual breath. Let's get a quick pick on Tim's. Tim's trying to push out on his own down bottom. Zai with the DD. No chance for the Grim Stroke as Zai collapses in upon him. And Puppy has now got the blink. It's kind of looked to get in the favorable positions for, for his big freezing fields. Yeah, they're all farming. Well, on the side of TNC, they have, you know, three cores farming pretty decently, but everyone on Secret is farming. So, they, like I said, they're going to have to probably deal with five core positions at some point in this game. As forward. Tower is only at 80 health already here in the mid lane. They're actually forced to glyph it as mid one starts throwing the liquid fire. Once this tower goes down, they can just back up and look for the shrines as they throw that last liquid fire. It's map controller. Dyer's top tower is under attack. have to build that gold advantage. Asher on TC. You see Nisha queuing up the Eye of Scotty rather than going for the heart that we've been seeing a lot. I think the Scotty has some very good benefits versus those BKBs. He's able to slow them versus it. And also, super good versus ranged heroes, as we've been saying so often. Ranged carries get completely destroyed by Eye of Scotty. Have they got anything else ready to keep the sniper safe? with just the four star and the glimmer. Okay, and the glimmer. They've got a glimmer now. Four too. star and glimmer. And they have a pipe as well. On. So that's yeah, they're really going to have to protect. Garmel is smoking out themselves. They've gotten themselves the, the Mjolnir. They've got the Glimmer, like you said, a couple item timing. They want to make their way out. They have no information on the map at all for TNC. This is, this is pretty much like we need to smoke out to get wards out because we don't see anything. And Secret just keeps forcing in every single lane. So they have to try to find something. And it's kind of a nice time for them to go to. Yep, so he's not got any charges on the Spirit Vessel. And Gabby with the, the time warp duration, uh, cool, cooldown reduction of the talent. It's gonna feel pretty, pretty happy jumping around without having to worry about what Ooh, it's to be getting, but that's a whiff, Chrono. Oh no. Oh, Gabby putting the oh no in Chrono there. Oh, that's. Oh no. That's really that's, devastating. That is. No Chrono for Gabby. That was their whole last few minutes of Got planning it. to making moves out, getting wards down. They put yeah. the wards down to the get that. Catch I mean, it, it, was, it was quick reactions. Yeah. And now top. From Zai. Very nicely done from Zai there. They force a full defensive BKB to TP out, and yeah, qu quickly just jumps onto the Lich. AU just dies in. AU bought back earlier, so. He did. He's dead for quite a bit of time, 70 seconds. Yeah. They do still have a tier 2 on that top lane. 
No chrono for this defense, and Secret know it. So he's getting out of hand now at this point. Look, this Nisha now has the 500 health talent too. He's about to have his Eye of Scotty. This is a 3,200 HP plus specter. He's just going to be running into the back lanes. Which he supports. And he can actually stick on the sp stick on the sniper now with that Eye of Scotty slow that goes through. And like we said, it's a, it's a ranged hero. So Scotty is so strong, 45% slow. See, you know, Puppy may, may be buying a lot of eyes for himself, but he's still keeping the game. For sure. That's, I mean, he hit 15 pretty early, nice. so GPM talent is not work. He sure he's got money for himself and the team. He's farming Ancients. Design now delivered. Pretty well, same with the two DNC's supports. heading out to this area. Chrono. How long to Chrono? We don't have Chain Frost either, because Lich is still dead. 30 seconds and Chrono's there. And you will be able to TP over if he feels the need to join them quickly. It's secret, they're not, they're not all here as the full five yeah. gaps are pushing out mid. We've got mid one working on the bottom lane. Feel Nisha in the jungle. They're, they're just going for max farm efficiency secret, yep. cleaning up the whole map, whereas TNC are having to, to move around as a five man unit. Yeah, I really do feel like TNC is feeling quite desperate now at this point in the game. They're not able to get anything on the map. They know that the map control is completely on secret side, which means secret just keeps getting all these bounty runes. They keep getting everybody super farmed on their team. They're gonna need some dream combos coming out from TNT. Big chronos into some huge soul binds. And not really allowed them to do at all in this game to set up multi hero. Radiance yeah, bottom with the gem on Yapport as well. They're just keeping that map control consistent. So TNT, they can't really get vision out on the map at all. They have one ward on that high ground on the left. And oh, I think bottom shrine is under Very limited attack. vision. running around and farming. Nisha's just playing. He's like, all right, guys, I'm just farming my side of the map. You know, I've you guys just keep pushing all three lanes. Next time is queued up. Sure so the art, they normally expect to see a little later on, but the Ether Lens, very much value on a, on a Jakira. Super why every spell benefits. You've got the Hex and the Atos that's also very annoying to play with, to play against. Yeah. And mid one just being able to catch people from a mile off Radiance and was able to, to sort of sit back fallen. and make sure he's got something to throw into the chrono if uh, there's situations where Gabby maybe has already used the BKB and goes for the chrono. Got to make sure that he has that BKB charge ready for when he gets the chrono, otherwise a lot of problems are going to be thrown his way. A secret they walk out, they're going to clear out this, they get a moment there to go onto this high ground here. That high ground is still a little bit scary, it can be. So they walk up, they know that there's going to be division there, they quickly take that one out. One ward left now in the mid lane. There. He's tied. He's getting him tied. Does he find AU? Nope. Doesn't find either. Very Very scared. Close. No get out. Zai, I thought Zai might be getting overtaken a little bit because of how much space the secret is taking, but no, he's also still just transit. Ags. He's got the crit now, too. Looking just harder and harder for TNC as they are finding no opportunities at all in this game. That now annoy the void, even if he's BKB'd and gets a good chrono. If Zai's not in it, the trees are going to be thrown the void's way and going to have to sort of duck and dive around them. Yeah, a lot of damage both ways. That's the physical damage that they were kind of lacking. Now Zai's going to be able to provide that one. What is it, 16,000 gold lead, almost a 20,000 experience lead, and Dota Plus is continuing to tick up. 94 now. For that four. Dota Plus, as it just, yeah. But it's it's, it's look, looking at the map control, I'd the way Secret's it. playing it, it's definitely feeling so. But a good Chrono. A and good Chrono with these the BKBs, TNC absolutely have a team fight in them that could yes. shake this game right up. Are they going to have enough damage, though, to deal with this, though? Like, Nisha's starting to get pretty damn beefy. I see. They need, they need the Silver Edge finished on board. Yeah. Instead of going for that uh, Aether Lens that you were talking about on mid one, he's actually switched oh, he's to switched Aeon Disc. So okay. That's the protection, one of the best items in the game. The chrono counter. Yeah, the yeah. chrono counter. Preparing themselves just in case they do get caught in those chrono. Armel is still very farmed. He is, but just the heroes that they naturally have, they have the Spectre versus the Sniper, so just these items they just Also going the smoke, the wrap around on mid. See if they can catch secret by surprise. 
I do expect that TNC is at least Radiant's on the high ground. You can see actually hunting attack. the jungle of Secret. There's, they're smoking to set up like in the back line for the bounty rune. Maybe expecting that Secret would be on the high ground there. They're going to wrap around on them, but they actually don't. As Secret, they're making their own aggressive play on the bottom already. They're showing themselves in. Tier 3 starts to get pushed down by Secret. You can see we'll be able to set up the two bounty runes at least with that movement. There. The way just to see if they could have caught Secret maybe setting up uh, for the top bounty runes themselves. But the case elsewhere on the map, Yapsil nearly with the AGs complete. Rush next on the menu, full BKB, yeah, Nisha. So that uh, combo that we were talking about, in particular for TNC, now going to be much more limited because they, they do have physical damage, but a lot of it, a lot of their damage is coming out that's magical. Sniper Maelstrom, Void Maelstrom, they have Lich in the Grim Stroke, so that BKB on Nisha is going to counteract. The high majority of it is able to get it off before the Chronosphere does hit. How much of a different question is, does he want to get the buyback? He may kind of need it if they want to have a chance of, of, of actually being able to kill the Spectre, but it, it, it is so hard. You're, you're unlikely to find the Spectre in the Chrono unless you can bait that Haunt out first. And Otherwise, if he gets, uh, you know, Nisha's not, he's not going to be on the front line. And if he gets BKB off, then, I mean, the, the, the damage is going to be, it's not going to be enough there for to that that Spectre. And I think, yeah, holding, like, the thing is, like, you have to think, do you hold buyback? Because also, Roche is up. You have to always have to play around that as well, that most carries like to save their buyback when Roche is up. Radiant the secret. 17,000 gold lead. The carry void has fallen heavily behind. Gabby, not able to keep up with the pace of Secret's three cores. Uh, Armel, the Radiant only one that's able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe really at the top. So that cooldown reduction in his Midas. Full common collected here by Secret. Not trying to make any type of mistakes. Just playing it extremely safe. I don't look into this Grosh pit here. Poke prod forced TNC to react. Immediately you see mid one. He's like, alright, we forced them here. We forced them toward the Roche pit. I'm porting bottom really quickly. Gonna start pressuring this lane. Force a reaction because this tower, it's at half HP already. Kiro can standing. do that split push. themselves forward here on Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And see wanting to react to this push this that's gonna start coming in bottom but at the same time wanting to stay oh. <laughs> being able to, to control and contest the Roche area. Secret are making the best attempts to, to split TNC up and force TNC to make these decisions. So TNC's been on their side of the map for the last 20, 25 minutes of the game, right? Secret's just continuing this control. Not giving This puppy got flung. You still they have building up the gold, does Yeah, a lot of gold saved up on Secret. Good. Farmed. Kane Pike finished up also the KB on the horizon. Back into the rush. You start to poke away at it and see what TNC's plan is going to be. Shrapnel's out. They're just sticking on the high ground. Just, and this is the area that they want to try to take a fight. They want to force Secret there to get a big front. But Secret, they're not taking the big. Playing their own game. They're just playing farm the three lanes, farm the map. And don't walk into that little area that TNC. Silver Age is done. They also have bought their own gem, so they attack Gabby if he doesn't give it forward to look for any to jump. Gold off buyback though. Gabby has to be careful. I ideally wants to find that level 20 as well before the next cast range. Pretty huge. Yeah, he's getting so under leveled. He's level 18 yeah, and I click on this game and slow down. He's just they've not been able to make any plays with the Corona. Yeah, look at the supports of Secret. Level 19 on Yaps or level yep. 18 on Puppy. Two of their higher level than the faceless void, the carry of T. There's the full agonims now for the invoker. Is uh, very scary. Very constant as well. That duration of BKBs is everything for TNC. They they've got to get as much done as possible. Puppy out for Tim's here, but Tim's himself back up to the base as soon as Puppy shows. I'm starting to set up here. They might want to try to look for a kill. 
all have these blink deals. Everyone has a blink pretty much on secret, right? So if you do jump forward on Gabby and you look for Chrono, you have to be so wary that you're like, I have to make sure that their blinks are canceled or that I can't do it like out of vision somehow. Cause well, he's got the, the, he's got the silver edge. Yeah. So, but then again, obviously sentries are likely to be yeah. placed around secret anytime they go for a push. Still hard to catch them by surprise from the invis. Yeah, because what they have the three, they have the three blink daggers. Yeah, so had to go for prioritizing other items for himself. But then Nisha doesn't use the guard. I can, I'm okay. here as well for secret. Yeah. To grab it, Nisha. He wants it. He's almost level 25 on Nisha. Dispersions causing more six issues too. Six zero eight. This another game where Spectre's just been around all the space in the world thanks to the play of his teammates. Shows in his items. Absolutely Sorry. huge at this point in the game and very hard for TNC to deal with. Yeah, how's our current gold? All right, yeah. Jakiro 5,000, Tiny 4,500, Sniper 4,500, and then 4K on Puppy as well. well. They're all, they're still banking for a lot of items and banking pretty much for the buyback around the Roche. That's in particular. In case anything does go wrong, they will have all their buybacks. The full set of extra four heroes. Most TNC, they don't have all their buybacks. Though. They are saving for a couple. They do have the important void as well as that sniper. Do have the buyback. Secret. They've got this. They've got away with it. They've got this rush. TNC quite set up this time to contest it. Bit of rush taken. Aegis and G's. The secret. Well, that's, you know, what teams always talk about, one of the big ways to counter Chronosphere is an Aegis. Now they've got it, and they're just uh, they're so tanky. A lot of counters. Aegis. Buyback, Horn. He's Eon Disc. Lot. And surprisingly, when they pick up the Aegis, and, and during these last few moments, there hasn't been a kill in like, the last 10 minutes. It's actually shifted 3% toward TNC. Yeah, it's kind of interesting <laughs> to see that. Kind of, kind of weird, so right? What sort of mathematical equation has worked out uh, where it self considers the curve back? And as, as I said, it's definitely the percentage where TNC hit the stream combo. It's but I don't know if it necessarily got better for TNC in the last couple of minutes. I feel like their damage Gaven is still just says so. be limited, but maybe just because the high ground defense. They're like, all right, now we're getting to the point where Void Sniper high ground defense. Right? I mean, it, it Invisibility. Definitely hard for. The secret is necessary to just throw themselves up a lane. And we, we see that. The secret are focusing on just growing and growing the lead. They're not trying to push the issue. They know that they've got full map control. Yep, they've got five heroes the lead. But so the TNC, like, they're starting to actually get their four corners as well online. Grimstroke with that with his GPM, as well as that level 20. He's starting to become pretty far. It's just a glitch that's totally out of it. That's not going to be able to get them. Nisha. Gabby, Gabby. Get away with Silver Edge before another fire. Uh oh, he's outside the base. He's getting slowed out. Look at the damage being done. Isha's on top of him. Another four star. Four get Cuckoo further back. Will be enough to save it. Radiant themselves away from Secret. Secret unable to find the kill. Oh, mid one had an Aether Lens queued up before, and he had 6,000 gold. He bought a full Dag in five. Dag on five. With the 8% spell amp talent, too. Uh, it's got to pack a bunch. Sniper, not the tankiest hero. Void, not the tankiest hero. I going for the Drago. Grimstroke, not the tankiest hero. Lich, not the tankiest hero at these points in the game. Like, this Dagon's really gonna pack a punch. Now they claim this high ground here themselves. They still have the Aegis and Cheese too, so this is where Secret's feeling more and more confident. No one actually surpasses. <laughs> surpasses the Spectre in that or two. That GPM, of course, one kicking Shakira, in. Mama. 150 GPM. He's also incredibly 3 0 and 12. He's had a flawless game so far. After that one fairy fire play in the mid lane. Is under attack. I get against this lineup, is he going to take the, the Macropire pure and pierce his immunity? The it's other one's just so good. The other one's but just he, oh, if he so lays good. it down in a chrono, even with the BKB, then Gabby can hardly stab and hit people. With I, I, he might. The other one is a objectively better talent, but I guess I couldn't see the argument. I don't think they need the Macropire pierce immunity. Just having that. TV start to way too good. I mean, I, get, I mean, the ice pass first. I guess for TNC, they're, they're probably f feeling well, we we really do want to try and hopefully went until the Aegis mm -hmm. is gone. Like, they, like they're not going mean, to they go, go looking tied. for a fight. And it seems a secret. They're still not pushing it too, too, too forced. They're not, they're not running down a lane. They are opting to just continue to farm up. 
It's still the fear of high ground defense. There's a sniper. There's a chronosphere. Everyone's bloodlusted in the back lines. You can't get in there too easily. Sure, you have your blink daggers to get in the back line to dodge those chronospheres, but it's still hard. Yeah. It's still tough. Unless you could just sort of wait for, for maybe one of TNC to head out and make a mistake. But TNC, they're not doing that. They're keeping the safe and reserved on the high ground. Die. He yep. walks out here. But he's being used to say nothing more than just a poke. They're scared to commit something there. They're like, all right, do we chronosphere a tiny and then we don't have chronosphere and they just push, he buys back and pushes, thing like that? You have to be very, very careful here if you're Gabby, how you use your chrono. Because, yeah, like, they, they have so many different methods that they can buy back and look into the game without a chrono. Or if they don't kill the target, that's chrono. Push forward here. Still has the cheese. Gabby has the BKB. They drop the chrono. He's gonna try for it. In fact, oh, he caught Mimbon. Mimbon tried to him. jump in. He's caught both of them with a soul bat. Mimbon's dead. Nisha will be able to back off here. He's moved the cheese in, but Mimbon blinking in. He there. brings it in, and the card further caught them both. Nisha now puts the horn, looks to turn. They're on Going Armel. in, on to Armel. Armel's dead. He has buyback available if he wishes. Now they'll turn, looking towards Nisha. Can they kill him off? He's a tanky boy. Pop the match. He's on top of Cuckoo. Now Armel and Cuckoo both with buyback. They're holding on to it for now. Oh, the tree. Buyback came back available for mid one, and he will buy back immediately to come and rejoin Secret on this mid rats push. No buyback for AU. Mid one. Face off, forced up, tried to get him away, but with that reach there from the fire, it's still burning down Gabby. Gabby looks to turn, Puppy's diving, he's taking tower hits, Puppy's dead. They'll pop the fortification and start to continue to push Secret out of the base. Buyback comes out for Puppy, he wants to get back in. They've got the hex on Gabby, Gabby's new out. That drops the gem as well. Gabby has buyback available, Secret focusing back towards the Rex armor. Sitting back, Misha moving in onto Cuckoo. Loads of swords upon him, so fine. We'll force them to back off for now. As soon as Gabby bought back, they started to reset here, back up a little bit. They don't get the racks, but it is three buybacks, three core buybacks forced out of TNC. Secret only having to use the one core mid one and the uh, support puppy buyback. Yep. Overall, of course, still a net advantage for Secret, continuing to grow. Armel has to be, he has to be really quick on his BKBs now. As we saw in that last fight, he just got jumped by Nisha. Nullifier doesn't get the BKB off. Nullifier, Diffusal, gets Franklin a couple times, and he's just dead from that Spectre. So Armel, he's going to have to be a little bit quick-fingered on those BKBs, even though it's not like the best scenarios to do so. In Secret, they're still looking to go for these fights. They're all TPing down bottom. Gabby has to be careful. See, Gabby's just running in. He is. They found him. They got the silence, but Gabby's been hexed. He's been ice pipe. Gabby's in trouble. They'll try to force it back, but Sally Johnny can get out the two of them. Gabby forced again. We'll be able to get himself away. That's the position saying cannot be set for Cuckoo. They're on him with the nullify. Cuckoo does not have buyback. They've got two dead for quite a long time here. Void and the sniper. There's two big cores, the only ones alive for now. Tim's does use the buyback. 31k lead now for Secret. They might just force this in. They have the haunt available too. Very careful. Now they're going to top of Gabby. They try and go for this. Top of the crown of the BKB. Can they get it? in time. They've got a lot of damage with the break. Gabby time walk just in time. Gets himself out of there. They kill Nisha. Buyback. Horde. He's straight back in the game. TNC rushing back towards the fountain. Four star on Armel. Yeah. But now comes the cataclysm. Armel is dead. Without buyback. They kill him on Zai. Also finding Tim's in the fountain. And GG is caught. Secret will be able to close up this game one. Took them a lot of time, 48 minutes, but they will manage to seal the victory. That's that's what we call discipline, right? You can see that TNT, they still pack a punch. Their heroes still do quite a lot of damage because of that bloodlust, because of that high ground defense. But Secret, they've got the buybacks. They farmed enough to just be able to have such a clear advantage that they have so much gold on everybody. They're able to take this one away with.